Uh, I wanted to also talk about this topic and get your opinion on it. There's something to, you know, we're seeing a lot of these these rallies, Trump rallies, crushes it, right? Yeah. I would like to see Trump dial back the rallies a little bit and go more to where people are. Like, it's easy to host a rally. Everyone that shows up at that rally is already voting for you. So he, I'd like to see him do a little more campaigning and a little less rallying unless he can yeah. mobilize the people that are at the rallies. He's, you know I, mean? I, I would disagree with that. I think that if you can get 50,000 people to show up and some of those people haven't seen you speak before, you're just trying to energize your core voters so that hopefully mm -hmm. they actually go out and vote. Trump as one person ultimately in the sense of knocking on doors and stuff and saying, hey, you want to sign up, register to vote. Ultimately, that would be meaningless. It would be a waste of time. Mm. He can he can convince thousands of people who otherwise would be like, I'm team Trump, but I'm not sure whether I'll go to the polls. What he needs to do is encourage people to early vote. Yes, I agree with that. And he has done a little bit of that. Yes, he's segueing into that. And that's very wise. He needs, yeah, people he needs to, to ram ram that message forward because the thing is that you might uh, you might be dead and therefore a Democrat voter on election day. Yeah, I mean, I think getting people to early vote also means like once they're done voting, they can be recruited to go uh, harvest more ballots. Yeah, like go get yeah, your vote volunteer. in, and now you have three weeks to volunteer. And, give, it, uh, give it two give it two days of your time take a long weekend and go and harvest a couple ballots tell a friend who's like well i don't know maybe they're just stoned on the couch oh come on come and vote you know, I was you, thinking, you know kamala harris used to put people in prison for simple possession of weed and you're a stoner so you might want to cast a ballot here's what here's That's what i'm line. thinking about doing here's what i'm thinking about doing as a private citizen is this legal i'm thinking about you know, I, I'm, I have a lot of like friends that chill out at like the local pub, right? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about just showing up at like four o'clock one day and just once the early voting opens and being like, hey, I'll pay your bar tab. Let's go vote. Let's go vote. I got your bar tab. And uh, that is that is to my understanding, legally, that would not be vote buying. You're not actually I'm not telling them who to vote. I just want. Yeah, them yeah, to vote. exactly. You're you're not offering the money or anything tangible. You're simply saying, "Hey, I'm going to pay your bar tab," but then you come to the polls with me. Yeah, and I'm not. Yeah, I'm not telling I you to vote for. I just said, "Come to the polls with me." And you're in Wisconsin, which is a swing state, so you know that could actually have an impact. Yeah, and I think the ballot like, printers will be going burr in the state of Wisconsin. I can guarantee that. Yeah, Wisconsin is basically the media is saying every swing state's in play. That's a lie. Um. I think I would like to see Trump like, God, I think he really needs to get back on Twitter. He needs to figure out like mm -hmm. his Twitter game is lacking. He needs to have like a Trump HQ, like Kamala HQ. and needs to be putting like a million dollars a day into that. Like he needs to be because like he's got some good messaging, like senior citizens shouldn't be paying tax on Medicare. Like the, the only problem with social media is that a lot of the people that use it aren't Americans at all. And they're and already so it, decided. And, yeah and yeah exactly that's like so that's like 95 percent of the people that you're reaching they're either not eligible to vote or they already know who they're going to vote for that's it's the, the undecided point, yeah. it's the undecided voters what trump needs to do is do like a sweetheart campaign in places like virginia pennsylvania is a big one because shapiro might be chosen in fact i think uh, it isn't uh we might be covering this uh isn't kamala expected to announce who her Thursday. running mate is Yep. Oh, I thought it was. I thought it was Tuesday. I thought it was today. I mean, um, I mean uh, or Wednesday. It might be today because they're going to be at the rally. I, everything I saw was they're going to be at the rally in Philadelphia. Um, and one of the big bets dropped out. Um, if I see the current vice president nominee by an overwhelming margin now is Josh Shapiro. It's not even close, and yeah. and it makes sense for all the right reasons. They need... why is why is this why is this one saying Tuesday? Because I mean that's yesterday. Yeah, that is yesterday. Maybe next I think, Tuesday. I Maybe think Shapiro. I think Shapiro is the most likely. Although I don't think it's wise. Honestly, I think she alienates some left wing voters because he happens to be a Jew. That is. I was going to wonder if you were going to say that. And it yes, 
And in Minnesota, too, by the in, way. Minis- in Minnesota and in Michigan, that will matter. Yep, they will not vote for her because of because of that. Like so, she any, has to so know any that. actual any actual lead that she's taken in Michigan or or Minnesota could be completely erased. It might go down as one of the biggest mistakes in political history. By the way, I think that that still belongs Kelly. to Sarah Palin, but yeah, I think, <laughs> but um, I think that like, um, I think that. I'm going to be looking into ways that me as a content creator that I can legally incentivize people to vote. Maybe I'll talk to Ron Coleman. Um, I have some connections with, you know, big lawyers, Ron Coleman or um, uh, Viva or Barnes. Figure out the way I can I can legally um, incentivize people to vote um, because I think that that's really important. I do think that Trump needs, I'm not seeing a lot of Trump's message, but I'm also not a normie. So, you know, I don't watch like, um, you know, Survivor or whatever this <laughs> stuff is like. And like we've said earlier, I already know who I'm voting for. I knew how I was voting for four years yeah. ago. So like same. I, I mean, exactly. He doesn't. It, it, Trump doesn't need to change our minds. And so I'm hoping that she that he understands that you've all you've got to do is go after independent voters that might be receptive to your message and or fucking terrified of Kamala Harris. Or, yeah, or I was going to say you need to just, a good spend of money would be on just reminding people who Kamala Harris is. Yeah. Because people have really short-term memories and they forgot how unlikable she is. Like, nobody yeah. out there can, seems to remember that she dropped out of the primaries without getting a single vote. Like, you know, she's Yeah, she came in like sixth, sixth, sixth place or something like that. Tulsi Gabbard ripped her a new asshole. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and a new epic- vagina at the same time connected them yeah. the so well, I all mean, of they, that, they, she, she, they, they, she's kind of bird like at times she's, yeah, yeah. Lost, so. <laughs> yeah so i mean i think i do think trump needs to get out there he needs to be smart like you said his base loves him so he needs to figure out a way to get them to go harvest he needs yeah. to find a way to get them to go out and tell other people to vote yeah we're doing our part you know yeah and and like it's a lot less pressure if we tell people to go early vote. Then you can go. I promise you, if you early in person in person vote, you will not wait in line. Like if you go on a like when the early in person voting opens, if you go like two days after that, there will be no line. You'll get in and out in five minutes. Like that. That's how it is where I live. Like I early in person in person voted last year, and I was just like yeah. straight in, straight to the ballot. Take my sticker, walk out. Like I'm was, a little bit of I'm a little bit of a hypocrite. I do intend to vote on actual election day, but mm-hmm. that's because there's never a line anyway. It does not exist because I'm literally like one block from the voting station, which is at the local elementary school. Do me a favor, Sticks, okay? <clears throat> fill out, at least fill out an absentee ballot and give it to somebody to mail in in the event of your untimely death so that we can <laughs> make sure like if something happens and you end up not on this planet anymore, that day they get the news. The first thing they do is go get your letter postmarked. My my I'll last act, my last act as a living human being voting for Donald Trump. Keep me on the machines. Keep me alive. Just ba- mail this in. <laughs> like, like that. That would be yeah. That I'll would make be... sure there's a yeah. I'll make sure there's a contingency. Although that'd be funny. Then even <laughs> minus a co-host, Melanie Mack would have to eat some more steak and take up a couple of more days. Yeah, and she'd have to do a better job harvesting people to go vote because you know her her audience is largely normie, and so hopefully they'll be like she hasn't really come out in like as a mega guy uh, yeah. or girl, but I mean it's like people mega know, <laughs> yeah, like you I don't know. think she's a guy. No, correctly, but what is a guy anyway? But, yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, uh, Kamala can't answer that question. I yeah. would love to see them ask her, by the way. Can you define a woman? <laughs> yeah, did you ha, see? Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Well, Ukraine is a country in Europe, and Russia is bad. 